program to demonstrate the concept of declaration of class what is a class and what do we mean by object in c++ programming languages hello everyone i am sukanya from goedu hub technologies and in this video we are going to firstly discuss about class and object and then we are going to demonstrate a program to see the concept of how a class actually works classes and object in c++ is a way to implement the object oriented concepts of c++ a class by definition is a user defined data type that we can use in our program and it works as an object constructor or blueprint for creating objects whereas an object is a instance of a particular class when class is defined no memory is allocated but when it is an object created then memory is allocated within the particular class for example we can say that cars is a class and there are several varieties of cars such as maruti suzuki swift desire they all are can be said as objects so objects create the memory allocated and take that memory in use whereas a class single has no memory in use now how can we declare a class a class can be declared with the help of the keyword class itself and then the name of that particular class then there are ss specifiers such as public private and protected this shows that where that particular class can be used or the data members can be used within the particular program next is the data members and then the member function of the particular class now to declare a object what you have to do is you have to just place the name of class for example car and then you have to name the object which is for example maruti suzuki so class and then the name of that particular object so car maruti suzuki is an object declaration next is assessing the data members how can you assess the data members of a particular class the public data members are also assessed in the same way however the private data members are not allowed to assess directly by the object assessing a data member depends solely on the ss control of the data member this ss control is given by ss modifiers in c++ which are of three types public private and protected now here is an example of class program and then the output is so this these are all the pre processed directory and the header files that is io stream to stdio.h and conio.h here we have created a class and the name of class is my class this is public in declaration and then the ss specifier is public which means the declaration is assessed by all and then there are several data types that is int float and char with variables a b c void means clr scr for clear screen of the console window declaration of the class object so my class actually has a object naming m y my now to assess the data members if my dot a variable stores 10 value similarly my dot b stores 10.5 and c stores the capital c for printing here you can see that c out that particular object and the assessing of data members is shown and then it is the next line the backslash n is shown and then get cs so this is how class works firstly we created a class then we declared the object and the object is my with the name before of the class which is declared previously and then the data members that is a b c r the variables are assessed with the help of that particular class now i'm going to run this program and check whether the output is same or it differs in the programming console now here you can see that we have declared the particular class firstly and name the class as my class and next we have declared the variables along with the data type and then we have declaration of class object that is my class dot my is the object and then we have assessed the data member and then printing of the data members of class now as i firstly check the compiling of the program and that is okay that means it contains no error and when i print the data members then i have to run this particular program and data members will be printed that is 10 10.5 and c stored in the values of m my dot a my dot b and my dot c of data members of particular class here you can see that my dot a my dot b and my dot c so in this video we have studied about class what are objects how can we create a class and then how can we create objects and by the help of objects how can we assess the data members and then print those data members of class for more queries and for more upcoming tutorial videos we will look into the upcoming videos thank you